I've been fortunate in my uh, 20 years with NFL Network. At the outset, uh, I was the guy that the NFL Network says, you sit down with the halftime act of, of the Super Bowl. I, I interviewed Jagger and Keith Richards. I interviewed uh, Bruce Springsteen, uh, Coldplay, just to name a few. Um, you sat down with Rihanna. What, 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 what was it like when she walked in the room to sit down with you? Uh, right. Incredible. You know, I like to joke and, and say it was kind of like when uh, Charlie Murphy was describing Prince. You know, she kind of just, just glided into the room. And um, as she sat down, she had this glow about her. You know, maybe now I can look back and say it was a pregnancy glow, but yes. I just thought she had this gorgeous glow. She's as gorgeous on the inside as she is outside. And there's this energy that she possesses. And it, 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 it's communicated in her music and her fashion and her business sense. She just has it. A complete comfort, all the while displaying this humility. You know, I remember talking to him like, "Yo, Rihanna, you you almost broke the internet when it was announced you were the halftime act." She was like, "Yeah, I know. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to be outside. I don't know if people wanted me outside. I'm like, we wanted you out. We been wanted you outside, and I just thought that was it was beautiful. It was beautiful to see. Um, the conversation was as beautiful as she is. So I, I was I was thankful to kind of kind of kicking with her in that moment. And, of course, you know, all, all my boys is hitting me up. <laughs> girls is hitting me up. People I work with. There's women, like, there's women I work with, like, what, what did she smell like? I'm like, if I got that answer, I, I think I would have got tackled by security. They would have probably boucheted me if I, if I knew what she smelled like. I mean, I got too close. Um, but, you know, I just tell everybody she is incredible. And uh, so was her performance. For her to be pregnant and go up there and do what she did at that height with yeah. the elevation of the stage and the dancing – I thought she killed it. I did too, uh, and it was great in the it was great in the stadium. It was a number, you know, when when the fireworks are going off, um, you know, the same thing was for for Katy Perry. The fireworks went off right. uh, above that stadium when she did the halftime of of the previous Super Bowl there uh, between the Patriots and the Seahawks. Just um, just really, it was amazing. It was amazing. It really and, was, and it was great to really to was. work with you and. You know, great job getting Damian Lillard on our set. I just turn around, and there you are chopping up. I'm like, oh, my God, that's Damian Lillard. I had to tell Mooch, you know, uh, he's like, what team does he play for? I had to tell Mooch, like, it's the Blazers, <laughs> the Trail Blazers. That was great when he popped up there. Yeah. And he said, and, and, you know, he, he was nice and chill about the whole Super Bowl chat. But when sure. I turn to him and I'm like, you know, all right, in a couple minutes I have left with you, who do you want to be the quarterback of the Raiders? And he just, he perked up, right? He's that just like him up. he's like. Thank you for the opportunity. Yes, I will talk about it here. He didn't stutter. He said Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, with him being a Bay Area guy, and now the Raiders being in Vegas, he still follows them. And he's like, Yo, I want Aaron. I want Aaron Rodgers. And uh, he was confident. Like that was the most excited he got. And and, and I, I love that you tweeted. You know what he said. He basically said. He, I think he did say that. Uh, he said. He said Mahomes is the Steph Curry of yeah. football. Um, but the way that he praised Mahomes was how excited he got about Rodgers. So he obviously thinks that Rodgers can, can bring that, that MVP Rodgers to the Raiders. Well, Nate, uh, thanks for the time. Congrats on getting everything right. Uh, your full conversation with Rihanna can be heard uh, and checked out and seen on your new podcast, The Process with Nate Burleson, correct? That's where that is? Yep, that's right, man. Okay. Appreciate it, brother. Absolutely. Um, and I told you, if you ever need someone to – fill in as a guest or anything like that on the process I'm hitting you up you know i'm hitting you up and i might come come to la to do it please do that so let me know and then and just the only thing is you cannot in the same way as your your first guest you cannot answer the question when people text you what does rich eisen smell like do you keep that between I'm, us okay uh, uh, too right, late i already made my mind up i'm sniffing the side of your neck man. You better <laughs> muck up i look forward to that nate you're the best man thanks for the call you All be right, well man, talk to you soon. nate burleson check out the process with nate along with cbs mornings the nfl today and so much more right here on the rich eisen show catch the rich eisen show every single day on the roku channel 12 to 3 eastern for free 